Hello, everybody. I have urgent but awesome news for you all. Today, a new leak of the 16th episode was released, so we will finally see there that one character we have been waiting for a very long time. I've been telling you about him in my analysis of the 14th episode, and also, I will show you another leak with an unusual and rather creep scene. Now, make some tea, grab your snacks, and be sure to watch this video to the end, because it will be really interesting. Let's go! I want to start with the second picture. Dom Studio published it in his Discord channel with the caption, They shouldn't be here. Let's take a closer look at it. First of all, it should be stated that the events are taking place in the city. I can say that based on these pillars and fence. I'd say it is most likely this is the city from the first and second episodes. I think it's a shot from this exact place next to the shelter. And if this is really so, then the Alliance still failed to win and free this place from the Skibidi. I think they strengthened their positions even better here, which is implied by the inscription that they should not have appeared here. The events here are taking place at night, and by the shadow on this building it can be understood that a large toilet with metal claws attacked one of the cameramen. And it seems that this is not an ordinary skibidi. In addition to the claws, he also has an incomprehensible device in front. It's hard to tell what this actually is, only based on the shadow we saw. Perhaps this is one of the watches that were stolen from the Alliance, and it also seems to me that he has a robo-eye as if this was a smaller version of the scientist's Skibidi from Walmart. He is already capable of dealing with the poor guy, and it seems that this was not his first cameraman. Look at these parts flying in the air, though. It was a squad of cameramen that consisted of at least four agents. It can be also assumed that this is some kind of new Skibidi mutant who has been released and is ready to destroy agents now. In any case, the Alliance will need something to counter this new threat. And now let's move on to the long-awaited news I already talked about it in one of my videos. Open your eyes and behold, Drill Woman, and oh my god, just look at these beautiful, magnificent, huge drills. Oh, anyways, what am I saying? Let's just continue. As I said, I knew what this lady would look like, and it turned out to be just like that. She has at least one pair of triple movable drills that are attached to her backpack from behind. Using those, she can dig tunnels or climb walls, that would be my primal assumption. And these drills have fasteners that look suspiciously similar to watches. Don't you guys think so too? And it also looks like she's wearing a tight latex suit and a shirt with black straps. She also has a pendant around her neck, but apparently it's just an ornament. In addition to all of this, there are some other devices placed on each of her hands. On the right hand of hers, we can see something similar to a puncher. My assumption is that using that thing she conducts closer combat when necessary. On the left hand of hers, we can examine the drill hook, using which you can, let's say, maneuver between city buildings just as you can do it with a grappling hook, or shoot at small skibidi in order to draw them closer to you and give them a couple of extra holes, if you get what I mean, of course. In any case, Dom Studio made a great job, and I greatly admire his design. I will look forward to a new episode which is about to get released tomorrow. And be sure that you are subscribed to my channel not to miss my new analysis of the 16th episode. And that was me, Isotoilet. See ya!